Squeaky chair. Squeaky chair. Hello everybody, it's Joe, the 3D printing professor, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how I got weight in the bottom of this 3D model by inserting washers while it was printing so that the model will be able to stand on its own. Welcome to the workbench. So, I know what you're thinking. Seriously, 3D printer professor, is that what you're gonna go for, Joe? I know, it's, it's a little bit cheesy, but I realized I have a legitimate claim on this subject. Not only have I written books on 3D printing and making these videos, I actually have developed a curriculum for 3D printing to teach its children, and I am a college professor. That's what I do when I'm not doing 3D printing. So, I'm gonna go with it. Tell me what you think in the comments. Is 3D printing professor too cheesy for me, or do you like it? I'd love to hear your thoughts about the subject. Meanwhile, let's talk about inserting objects into a 3D print while it was printing. The way that this works is actually pretty easy. The first thing you have to do is design your part with an empty space inside of it for the thing that you're going to print. Now, be careful when slicing your part to turn off supports, otherwise it'll fill the space that you want to put your washers in with support material and while it's on the build plate you just can't do it. You just can't remove that that support material to put your part in. This print was a loss. Then I programmed my print to stop at the right spot during the print, which in the case of this print was at the four millimeter mark. And the way that I did that was by navigating the menus in Sailfish. Now your 3D printer may or may not have this same ability. If it doesn't, there are ways to edit your G code to put in a pause at a specific point in the print. It's more complicated, but it's possible and every slicer can do it. Then just let it print. And when the print pauses, go ahead and insert your parts in. However, there's a problem. These metal washers don't like to have the plastic stick to them very well. Now, a little while ago, I switched from my glass build plate to a metal build plate. I did that because I was breaking glass build plates a lot and I wanted something sturdier. And I found out that hairspray still sticks to the metal build plate really well, especially if you rough it up just a little bit. So. I know that hairspray will stick to the washers, so I used that. I coated each of the washers in a liberal dose of hairspray, let it dry, and then before dropping it in, I hit it with just a little bit more hairspray. Now, to do this properly, I'd want to hit it with a heat gun first so that that becomes tacky, but I didn't have my heat gun on me right now, so I just went with it, and the result was... mostly successful. It kept a lot of the flyaway support material actually sticking to the washer so that there wasn't a lot of mess when it printed. And the final result looks just fine. I've vapor smoothed this one for a more professional finish, but there's a, there's a little bit of an artifact around this side where it paused and I let it cool too much. You've got to be fast on this because when your printer goes down, you need to drop those washers in and get it back to printing because, as you know, 3D printing is a game of heat and you've got to keep the heat right. Letting it cool down is not good, so don't let it sit down there or you might end up with artifacts like this. And even if you don't, you still might end up with some artifacts. It's, it's not an exact science, but the trick of using hairspray on the metal washers that I wanted to put in there, well, that's really what I wanted to share with you today. So there you go. You can insert all sorts of things into prints just by pausing the print, inserting it, just making sure that you pause the print above where the object is going to be so that as the print continues, the object that you're inserting doesn't interfere with the print. I've got a lot of ideas of things that I want to use it for. We'll see if I ever get to those projects in the future. Maybe you've got some great ideas. If you've got some great ideas of inserting things into prints for any reason, put them in the comments and I'd love to hear it. Maybe you'll see it in a future project video. So thank you very much for stopping by the workbench and I'll see you next time.
Oh, I didn't describe what this is. It's a, it's a camera stand. You put a you put a webcam on top and it clips on top and the, the, the wire clips in here. I don't have the webcam here. They're in the other room. But yeah, it's a it's a stand for a webcam so you can so I can use it in class for my students. That's what this is. There you go.